when our players in the NBA, you know, do what's in their heart, what they do, what they feel, you know, represents who they are and look to move this country forward when it comes to race relationships. I think that's a beautiful This is Dallas Mavericks chairman Mark Cuban. A lot of things that are going on that are unjust, people aren't being held accountable for. As Colin Kaepernick brought attention to the real issues plaguing this country's progression. I always thought we could start at the foundation that we're all on the same page, that we're happy to be in the country. I think by pulling the national anthem, you cut the legs out of the foundation of the patriotism. Republicans attack the knee rather than condemning racism. A plight non-white Americans are crushingly dealt every single day. But by not getting, having that moment for everyone to sing the national anthem, I thought brought us together. So here's twerp Brian Kilmeade doing his song and dance. Sports have tremendous power to unite us. Fox does oh so well. When Megan Rapino protested. These girls are play. these ladies are playing for our country and they're representing all of us. No matter who's in the office, who's in office, even if yeah. you disagree with them, shouldn't you still support your country? Ainsley Earhart, girlfriend of rusty vaping trombone Sean Hannity, called them un-American. LeBron James was berated by a Nazi sympathizer. So keep the political commentary to yourself, or as someone once said, shut up and dribble and the beat went on we'll be right back so when mark cuban announced his team will no longer play the national anthem at their home games rupert murdoch's media arm went into full effect one of the points he brought up in the past is why don't you sing the national anthem right. before work well that's just it's not a public event it, that's not it's a not tradition that we've been doing it, yeah. The Star Spangled Banner was written by Francis Scott Key, a slave owner, who in one verse wrote, no refuge could save the hireling enslaved. Did I mention he owned black people? So y'all want a predominantly black workforce to sing the lyrics of some white dude who owned their ancestors? Key supported sending free blacks, not slaves, back to Africa, and with a few exceptions, was about as pro-slavery anti-black and anti-abolitionist as you could get at that time. The Star Spangled Banner is as much a patriotic song as it is a diss track to black people who had the audacity to fight for their freedom. Perhaps that's why it took almost 100 years for the song to become the national anthem, wrote The Root. But we used to play the national anthem every Monday, remember, yeah. on, on our channel before uh, 6 a.m. Uh, so we can go back to doing that if that's right. a criticism. Kill me with no defense is just making stuff up at this point. Here's the game. If the national anthem meant so much to conservatives, why did it take almost a third of the NBA season for anyone to notice this is fake outrage which is politically motivated to make themselves look good because conservatives in this country are easily deceived by for example the scott walkers of the world who says i'll never watch the mavs anymore dude you live in freaking wisconsin for christ's sake in july of 2020 he said the national anthem police are out of control wrote cuban if you want to complain complain to your boss and ask why they don't play the national anthem every day before you start work so are we surprised by this with the Mavs and Cuban? Absolutely not. If anything, he's shown this was always a possibility with his line of thinking. The Times reported Cuban was allowed to enact it because the NBA has permitted teams to run their pregame operations as they see fit because of the unique circumstances of this season, according to a league spokesman. Pelicans head coach Stan Van Gundy had this to say, who has been an outspoken critic of Republicans and Trump. This should happen everywhere. If you think the anthem needs to be played before sports Sporting events, then play it before every movie, concert, church service, and the start of every workday at every business. What good reason is there to play the anthem before a game? Interestingly enough, for the club's first 16 years of existence, when it was owned by Donald Carter, God Bless America was sung instead before home games at the old Reunion Arena. The Mavs began playing the national anthem after the team was purchased by Ross Perot Jr. on May 1st, 1996. Cuban bought the team in January 2000.